Okay, guys. This oh. is just a little mouse. <laughs> yes, a knife that still made in Japan. So they opened it earlier on. Engineered for one. This is a proper packaging, you know. I've bought quite some Japanese electrical appliances recently and they're still packaged the way they were packaged back in the 90s. The unboxing experience... Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. I'll use this. Smooth... Oh my god. Smooth touchy material. Blue on the side. Illegal. So it's a wordplay on illegal. That's the lovely logo. This is a lovely box. And wait, that's illegal. Anyway, this feels nice. <laughs> Pretty really satisfying to say the least. See that you get a little dust bag. Hey, it's pretty for the size, it's not too hefty. Alright. And when you hold it in your hand, right? You kind of feel like the weight is balanced. Alright. So underneath here, you get some right, nothing special here. You get a three-pin plug. Much. Windows, that's the key there, I might need it later. And that's the power brick, which is a big power brick. Anyway, <laughs> okay. This is so satisfying. Alright, so. So that's how you should look at the logo, the illegal logo. This entire casing feels very, very well built. Alright, and they specifically told me that these is a full magnesium casing. So it's a strong and lightweight material. And uh, mm, the construction feels really good. Yeah, the usual stuffs are there, the microphone ports, the so USB ports, one, two, three, and then this I really appreciate, the micro SD card slot, I like that a lot, alright, you get Thunderbolt, HDMI, plug in, and then Ethernet, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so if you visited some old ass hotels, <laughs> let's try this. You know, we used to be so amazed with Apple laptops that you'll be, you're able to just lift the lid without the base coming up. This has always been an Apple hallmark, alright? Okay, this is the maximum angle it will go. And because of how thin it is, yeah, that's how it behaves. Let's do it. No, this one feels sturdier, but I remember I was rather disappointed when this one, when I lift it, it bring up the base as well. But of course, this is rather slim too. The profile is a comparison. Of course, the MacBook is thinner. More or less the same more or less okay the first thing I would do okay there we go is there anything I should peel okay got this off this is a little instruction so what it does is that 
they were showing me this thing this now if these are common stuff in Windows laptops I wouldn't know all right so apparently on the top corner here if I double tap it it will turn it will switch off the, the touchpad so that when you're gaming you don't or typing you know I mean, yeah no ah, not one touch okay <laughs> need to hold it for a while <laughs> okay in terms of profile okay yeah yeah you can see it is a bigger machine 15 17. Oh, you, you get some, you get some Christmas lighting here, and um, immediately I'm looking at a screen that is lower res than this. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is all. This is new to me now. Not been a Windows user for so long. So today they show me one thing: the uh, Illigir Command Center. Keyboard backlight, turn it on, there we go, can you see it, off, and then on. Okay, I was hoping for some haptic feedback. <laughs> see, I don't think this is something that is really, really important, so I just change it to some amber lighting, but of course you can go full crazy if you want to. So this is currently I'm in office mode. Fan sounds quiet. I can I can move it to uh, gaming mode. And uh, that's the system operator. So I can keep it in office mode, and we'll see how it performs. Okay. And uh, nothing much. The touchpad makes a little bit of a metal to metal sound so it's clickable here and here so that's the right click left click but it's not clickable there so it's rather different from the way apple makes theirs of course it's no longer even apple's one is no longer as the feedback is no longer as good as it used to be well they did specifically tell me this that don't expect apple levels of user experience when it comes to the touchpad all right and uh for all the reviews i read on windows laptops yeah. none of them are comparable but i'm someone who don't click i tap i tap even on my macbook i tap i, I disable the the haptic feedback for the the, the the clicking so i tap so start button that's the only thing i i know now uh, I have Office here, I have Microsoft Edge, I have no idea what's that. And what are these? A great app is on its way. Well, hmm. Task View. Um, recycle Bin, I'm familiar with that. I remember that. <laughs> and do they still come with Internet Explorer? Oh, Microsoft Edge is actually Internet Explorer, is it? Chrome straight away. All right. So uh, I don't think there's anything here for me to. Ooh, what are all those sounds? Okay. Uh, nothing to do here. So this is Microsoft Edge, right? Ooh. Isn't that the E representing Explorer? You know. Welcome to Microsoft Edge. It's time to expect more. What's this? Okay, that's just to tell me that Explorer is now H. So edgy. Let's set up your tab page. What do you mean? Inspirational, informational, focused. Uh, so these are the stuffs you curate for me. Alright, I'll go with informational then. <laughs> okay, the accuracy of the touchpad 
Uh, even though it's better than my friend's Dell, but um, all right, what is this? Sign in to sync data. Continue without signing. Can I sign in with <laughs> Hotmail? <laughs> Is all this find your favorites install extensions fuck off mm -hmm. of course <laughs> using a 17,000 laptop to browse the net and to show how good it is it's, it's a bit it's a bit ridiculous now, huh but then this is my website, evilmalaysia.com. And when you're reading here, there are no ads. All right. So if you're the kind of person who are curious with stuff, you can come to our content page and play around because things are rather interesting here if this is your first time. Okay. I don't list down the articles. I put them like that so that you can guess what is what. And you just click around, get clickety. Almost every single thing is clickable. This little tablet is clickable. The little beetle climbing on top of the the tablet is clickable. So yeah. That's my website. That's evomalaysia.com. Okay, so uh, yeah, if there is anything else you want to know, oh, sound quality. Mm -hmm. Let's check on sound quality, shall we? It's a gaming laptop, right? It better do sound right. Let's try this. Not a lot of bass. really loud oh good this part here the deep deep okay, that was a video I produced for Alexis anyway that that deep deep bass there can only be heard from headphones in most of the other laptops that I that I that I that I experienced none of them was able to play that last part that deep 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 bass that if you're watching it from a laptop you wouldn't have noticed it when the car was turning down all right only when you're on headphones and this guy here got it I like that I like that all right and um, since we're gonna be announcing Evo Enduro soon mm -hmm, let me relinquish that first Evo Enduro we went may look clean, but is it really clean enough? Try sunlight anti-back okay. now. Alright. Sometimes it sounds... Okay, I might need to tweak... I might need to tweak the... Uh, I might need to tweak the sound later, okay? I kind of felt it's a bit too treble E. Alright? Uh, okay, how do I... Okay, in, 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 in the Mac environment... In the Mac environment... This... I'm not showing off. This is something very, very common. Alright? In the Mac environment... If I need to quickly go to my desktop and do something and just click on something all I do is this my palms I just do that and everything is gone and I can click on my icons and all that and then when I want it to come back just grab it back yeah 
and I can have multiple desktops, multiple tasks, so I don't need to be fiddling around with different win windows front and back and all that. So I'm not sure if these type of gestures are supported in a Windows environment. Okay, but okay, what is this? This means. Oh, this is a task switcher, right? So, how do I go back to the main window desktop? Or apart from minimizing it like that, you know, it's hard work to move your mouse all the way here to point at a little button that originated since 1995. You know, they ought to have some new ways of doing this. Ooh, what did I do? Aha! Uh -huh, four fingers down and everything comes down. Okay, I like that. I like that because I want to come here. The THX. Okay, so just now I felt it's a, here there's spatial audio being enabled. Uh, I'm not sure about these. And uh, does it not have like a more bass setting? Okay, cinema setting, you get that. Music you get just now. Dialogue enhancement, so information. Okay, these are uh, all right. At least I can, I can play around with it and have it, which is nice. So, software-wise, you have that spatial audio thingy. Uh, I don't see any branded logo of speakers over here. Nice. Yeah, the sound feels a bit treble e. Or was that the THX spatial? Audio. Cars bring us to places. Right, if I switch it off. Places off. that we can never imagine. Okay, this feels yeah. more familiar. Okay. Okay, this is the more familiar sound. Instead of having that spatial thing. Yeah. The special thing about cars is that it allows you to roam. Do I press FN? Okay. It is a very different mode transport as per plane or trains and you know, whatever because those are you know, a destined route and mm. all you care for would be the final destination whereas cars just it travels on the ground level we are in full control of it we can stop whenever we want we can turn left wherever we want turn right wherever we want. okay there's a certain there is a threshold that Every speaker with its corresponding casing or whatever should have, whereby you cross it, your speaker is more powerful than the construction of its own housing, right? So, I mean, of course, for a gaming laptop like this, they should allow you to go full bore, right? So, when I went all out just now, I kind of felt that I crossed that threshold. Uh, whereas, um, This one I've never experienced that, but the speakers are weak in this. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, my Illigear laptop is here. This is the dumpest review ever. It's not a review, uh, huh? It's a sharing experience. These guys, they love their rainbow color. Right? But I know this is the gaming color. This is like gamer color. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm... Oh! You stop making noise. That means you finish uh, the output, right? Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah. So now my laptop is fast. See that? See, I can just move my cursor up and down, and if there were, if there is a video in between, it would just play. See that? That's Apple. All I do is just next, next, next. That's the amazing thing with uh, Macintosh that I really like. See? Not some benchmark stress test, but simple user stuff like this that makes me feel mm hmm. Okay, so at least now I have this. First thing, change the fucking wallpaper, man. Alright, see you guys. Thanks for watching. I usually review cars. I just buying a laptop to produce my reviews and you're in the way so that I made you watch this. <laughs>
Sorry, guys. Cheers.